Radical Radio, your host this evening, Tommy from Glasgow. Yes, what's happening? How's it going out there? What's happening? Hail, hail. It's now uh, 23 minutes past midnight. We're now on to the 20th of March 2013. And I'm on my little dongle. Thank you for joining us here. Thank you for joining us. And the boy, here we go again, brother. Yes. And Didi, here we go. Everything coming through okay? Coming through okay? Let me know. You know, I like to know if it's coming through sounding okay. See, we got the wee speaker here. Live and direct from a tinfoil covered Skoda as usual. So we're setting everything up. A bit of technical difficulties there, but we've got it all boosted. Computer turning to sweet, fed, watered, and since the show finished at ten past ten, just two hours and fifty minutes ago. show has been listened to, I think, let me see, last count, last count, my live show just started five hours ago, five hours ago exactly, we're talking to old Francisco, yes, 7,357 with 326 downloads, so Francisco Sandaza, thank you very much brother, no hard men, no hard feelings, and uh, so thank you very much for all the followers who have joined me, and uh, as for in as an opportunity for anybody to come on and join board they were on. I was a bit busy preoccupied with doing calls and uh, making sure I ran out of time. We really technical issue. But now we're all fed watered. We're all uh, I'm fed watered anyway, so let me see. Bit of a blowback. What do you mean by the blue bag? Is that any better? Tell me, let me know, how's the sound quality? Let me know here, brothers. Tell me, what is going down there? Is it good? Is it sounding alright? Is it pain in my pants? Tell me, how's it happening? Can you hear the background of the motor? Yes, we need funding for a battery. Anybody get any money for a battery? We've got it on the Glasgow Radio Online. There's a donate button. Hit the donate button and fun from a battery. <laughs> a bit muffled. Any better now? Took the muffle cage off. The muffle is off. Any better? Any better? The muffle cage is off. Up the window, the window's up. You hear me clear it? And we're coming through all right. Hello, hello, we're doing a sound check here. 
Where he was going down, can you hear me all right? Tell me, is there better now? I'm getting a net ping of 70, 80 MS. Ah, is that better? Is it all going good now? There's a wee muffled thing there, I've took it off. The mic. Pick you up a curry. Where'd you want it delivered to? The better now, that's it, we're cooking the gas. There's a little muffled thing I've got there for my mic. The mic is unmuffled now, we're unmuffled. Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten. So this is a four inch show for all you crack parts out there. And the numbers on the doors, the scores on the doors are as follows. 0141 416 1888. You can't say fairer than that, I am the Bishop of Cork. Other numbers, if you're a brain dead zombie from another planet, if you're wired to the moon, I'll read this out nice and slowly for the hard of thinking and slow of study. Zero, two, zero, three, two, nine, zero, one, six, nine, zero. Yes, that's uh, the number for the brain dead zombies to get me on. If you're out in San Francisco, if your name's Francisco, Stan Daza for San Francisco, then you can get me on 001. This is my number straight out of Compton, 310, which fooled old Franco, 668-1916. Yes, the sting of Franco Sandaza came from a number that ended 1916. 001 310 for Compton, 668-1916. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, radio snout. You don't get numbers like that, but it doesn't do you. 0141416-1888. Put that in your speed dial in between the Tandori and your drug dealer of choice, or your off license, or 24 hour booze, or, or whatever, put me in there, speed dial me. Right, hi, up, Pebbles Forum. Save you credit, we save credit. Sorry that actually cost you money there, but you should have just hung up. The one ring sting it, we do one ring stings, and uh, Let's see. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, what happened to Was Francisco Sandaza. How you doing, my man? Ha <laughs> ha, friend of all. Hey, hey, Francisco, I see you. Hey, what are Francisco, throw me back, brother. Who's going down, my man? <laughs> well, Francisco, I just phoned me back. I saw you work out who I phoned at that time. And who I spoke to for 23 minutes. Come and talk to me, brother. 
It's all right, I squared it with your boss, I squared it with Brian Stockbridge and Imran Ahmed. There's no repercussions. There is no repercussions at all, Francisco. I'm good friends with and best mates, my brother from another mother, Imran Ahmed. Squared that Richard Hughes, Zeus Capital, Ticketus, David Murray, you've nothing to worry about, brother. Nothing. We're the Sultans of Sting, that's how we roll in Glasgow. Tinfoil covered Skoda. I've got a veranda in LA sitting there waiting for us. We'll sit back there if you can have a Chinzano. I'll have a Mellow Birds, we'll just chillax, brother. Come back on the phone. I declined you there for it. I was bad to get you on. I, I thought it was a. Uh, I would you call it? Come back home, brother. Let's talk business. You can take you all the way to San Francisco. Oh, I hope I've got no sing. I can't even sing to save myself. I phoned him back. I just phoned him back. He does know that he never returned my call there. Francisco, how you doing, brother? If you're listening, any Rangers fans, any Rangers players, any other crackpot McDougals out there wanting phone to pass on the numbers, pass if you get Charles Green number, Francisco, pass go over, I'll take his number, anybody got Chuckles Green's number? Who's got Chuckles Green? We want to speak to the old Chuckles. Chuckles Vision. See when I'm ready for it. Right, when I'm ready, we got here. So here we go. Yeah, you can guess. Do yeah, I come to zero zero one three one three? Sorry, zero zero one three one zero six six eight nineteen sixteen. You can get me on Glasgow zero one four one four one six eighteen eighty eight. You can get me on London 0203-290-1690 And uh, I've got too many numbers here, I don't even know what the, Right, so that's the numbers I can reveal to you The other ones are black op numbers, so we've got that going down So we've got a number here, 1916, from the old US of A And uh, if, anybody's in, if anybody's in Switzerland listening to this, Switzerland what I want to do, there's numbers I can get if you're in countries. So if anybody's listening to this, um, Switzerland, France, or the Netherlands, we just need an address. Nothing bad will come of it, nothing bad at all. We just need an address so we can acquire a number from Skype. And that number from Skype uh, will be able to me to just to verify, you know, there's an address behind it, you know, something or other, you know. If we've got something like that, then I can get a number registered to Crackpot McDougal in France, Switzerland, and such like. So anybody in Switzerland, anybody in France or the Netherlands, uh, we like to uh, we're an international Crackpot McDougal family, so we like to take it pan global. How you doing? Not bad, mate. Are you busy? Aye. I'm a bit hungry. See me if you're just fucking about doing fuck all, so I was going to try and get you something today, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, mate, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm self... I'm, I'm self unemployable, mate. I'm not kidding, mate. <laughs> How uh, you doing? What was I got to say? See all this shit? See all this shit with the Green Brigade and all that? Oh, has to be so to soon, mate. No, I mean, see, our club, our club has not been in a better state, apart from the fucking fans in the world, and our career, and our history, and we'll have to sort this out soon, by the way. And hope, hopefully you get a fucking a higher soon, because I'm off, I'm doing a joint in it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Israel. You know, that was a bad quote, but I would I hope that you hear about it. I put a sound up. That was a quarter, it was the same quarter. The bougies are waiting on another fat. Get in there, my man. Roll another fat. Right on. <laughs> right on, indeed. Roll another fat, man. I don't know how many sound signals there. Is this signal any good? Is it coming through all right? Right, Francisco Sandaza, you have a right to reply with a crack bot here. You have a right to reply. You can phone me up. A right to reply for any crack pot to come in and check the. So he's good, my man. Did you hear the brother in there? Did you hear the, bum, the brother in there? Was he okay? Is he sounding all right? Was he sounding all right? Was he sounding ticky to me? Sounds good, my man. Right, well, feel free. Don't be shy. Give it a try. Don't walk him by. Hey, my boy. You know you're a big fat one there. Yeah, so the phone lines are open to any crackpot out there. Any brain dead zombie. Come ahead. Where are the brain dead zombies out there? Where are the brain dead zombies? Is there any out there? Any out there? They say I'm obsessed. Well, yes. They said I was paranoid. I'm moving one step up in the chain now. I'm just obsessed. <laughs> yes, thank you for that lovely label. As a badge of honour, I'll put that down, add it to the CV. Thank you very much. Yeah, the glorious CV of coming third on the list of hateable Tim's, or is it? Third on the list, that will do for me. Aiming for higher next year. And, uh, a trip to Poland, part of the Irish contingent, we won an award from FIFA or UEFA or whatever, part of the Seville contingent, we won an award for that. So, what are you smoking it? Phone for anybody? I can't, I phoned us there, I know, but. Then yeah, he's got tippled of it, I like them get rid of it. Francisco, he's listening to me. It was either a coincidence that he phoned me back, or, uh, well, listen, as I said, I've squared it. It's all been squared with a gaffer. I'm in best mate's terms with the gaffers of IPOX. Yes, yeah, they love me really. We've got the evidence here. If you don't believe it, go and check it out. I've spoke to Imran. I've spoke to Brian. spoke to Craigie Boy. I've spoke to your real owner, Davey Boy. Davey Boy still your real owner. Oh, Davy Boy through in the Kirstoff and Davy Boy for Edinburgh. The one who helped destroy the clergy. It's all been a huge, great big scam. But, uh, Celtic now faced Glasgow's Green and White. This is Lowe's on the phone. Oh, well. I'm bankrupt, I'm a busted flush, they can come and take me over the band, I've nothing to take. Take my tinfoil cover Skoda, not a problem, take the clothes on my back. I walk about as a naked crackpot, we've got the naked rambler. Fucking the hell slap into you when you see the naked crackpot walking about. With a shamrock upon my... whatever. <laughs> Yeah, just bring it right on, take it wherever you want, I've got nothing. I'm in it for the fun, we're the fundamentalists, putting the fun into fundamentalism. But anyway, enough of uh, the fan dazzle. What we really need to say here tonight is that Glasgow Celtic fans been targeted by the police in this way, what happened at the weekend, it's got to stop. Surely to goodness, it can't go on. How long? Will it continue? The criminalisation of Celtic fans. Why, oh why? 
police state or what? So the question has to be, Glasgow, they've got the laws, there's different laws that are out there, why are they being applied unevenly, why are they being applied in a different way for different groups of people, and why specifically are Celtic fans being targeted, so Mr Laurel, in that last podcast, that last show, with all the people listening to it, sure it will fall on to Mr Laurel's ears. Some of the comments from the bulging from the suicide. So this is a chance also for everyone. I was thinking about it earlier on. Should we put this out to the nation, to the good brothers and sisters across the planet? With Celtic colours, with Celtic in their heart, the question I put out to you, what do we do now, where do we take it now? How far are we all committed to go? What's the level we're going to go to if we want to be treated as proper human beings? To be treated as decent human beings, as football fans of repute. Football fans who have been part of something special this season and for many seasons. From Seville to the Camp Nou to the Stadium of Light against Benfica, the Luzhny Stadium in Moscow, to the Turin, to the Turin Paraffin Lamps, everywhere Celtic's name has been sung in high praise, the fans have been lauded and given plaudits all throughout. We went to a small, sleepy town in the middle of Spain where they baked the biggest paella the world has ever seen for Celtic fans on a return to the yellow submarine town that hosts Villarreal. Yes, they built, they made the world's biggest paella and what happened when the tramps, the paraffin lamps for the suicide the crackpots that can't pay their bills. What happened when they went? They smashed the team bus. Smashed the team bus. There you go. We get the world's biggest paella built, made for us, for all the Celtic fans. They smash up the team bus. A friend from Spain commented when he lived in a certain part of the world that because he was from Spain, they knew what he was. Fingers crossing for old Francisco Sendaza that no, I, I didn't want to go to the, the, the length of uh, his contract, I didn't, I know his contract, they're blessing himself. I didn't want to go down that way of blessing himself because we all know where that goes. We don't want to know any of that nonsense. Don't want to make it any worse for the poor brother. It would have been really bad for that. Obviously he's Spanish and he wants to bless himself, part of his Christian faith, and he can't do that. I was going to say, if we get you over here, Francisco, we'll get you uh, able to bless yourself, we'll get on full TV, running out, Francisco able to bless himself for the first time in this season. Uh, so we're going to headline it on CBS. Francisco is freed from the tyranny of not being able to do his religion. Can't fulfill his religious requirements for blessing himself and running onto the field of the clergy. to do then is collectivise like nothing else. So the government is down to Celtic fans to take it up. 
Me, I'm just a cloud piece. I'm just a, an overrated mouthpiece. Don't listen to me at all. I can only organise a piss up in a brewery. And that's why I don't drink. Because I was even worse when I was drinking. You should have seen me when I was drinking. Or well, maybe not. But anyway, the point I'm making, I try to make, is that Celtic fans have to collectivise and it's what level do we want to take it? How do we hit them in the pocket? Is that what we do? Do we hit them in the pocket? Well, tomorrow, if these people think it's a good idea, I will try and phone the police service and register a complaint. I want to speak to the police officer to say to them, going to step back. If that's a bad idea, then I'll desist. I don't know. I'm a crackpot who likes the phone, so hey, I've got a complaint against the lovely police that are out to do a job, but it's not policing by force, it's policing by consent. Celtic fans have been given plaudits and awards all over the place. Surely a bit of respect should be reciprocated. If not, then I'm going on the radio across the world. In fact, I'm fighting a phone of my lovely friends in the US of A and getting this global here. Yes, I might phone my friends and talk live with that. Yeah, mate, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to phone them up. Once we've finished this wee show, I'll give you the link. Look out for the link. We're going to phone my friends in the USA and we're going to find a club for Francisco Sandaza tomorrow. God willing, Francisco. I am an agent in the USA with my little veranda looking onto the, the, the Pacific Shelf. I've got a Pacific Shelf company called Verandas That Is. So if anybody's out in Compton wanting their veranda put in, I'm there to do the job for you. I'm your veranda king for Compton LA. Compton LA verandas. <laughs> So we could, uh, we could do Compton, L.A. Verandas, we'll be talking about more flannel juice and gibberish. Right. Keep the wallet shut, says the parrot. Parrot says keep the wallet shut. And uh, spend, spend, spend on the Green Brigade, back the Green Brigade with some money. They don't need, do they need money for lawyers? Have we got, sorry, have we got our brother Amar Amar in case? Is he on the, is he on the ball, Amar? Amar Amar? Let me know if he's on the ball. Should get an interview with a good brother. We should get George Gallery on the case. I think Mr. Gallery is going to be contacted. If there are people are out there, if anybody wants to let Mr. Gallery know on the Twitter, a stumble Francisco and uh, the case is now on. We need a high profile. Let him know his good buddy is calling for a high profile case. Well, we'll have tomorrow with the budget. We should aim to get Mr. Gallery on side for Thursday or whatever. Try and we'll get a call with Mr. Gallery. Try and get him to do something in Parliament. Or oh, this week it'll be Parliament. Now. It's already talking about budget. But surely to goodness. The criminalisation of Celtic fans. It is disgusting. Discrimination is rife. Always has been. Celtic fans have been targeted in a despicable way in the past and it's time it stopped. And the point that Celtic fans can do, because everything was done peacefully, I take it, on Saturday, apart from the police wielding batons, at seven-year-old kids, at teenagers, at grandparents, pensioners. So the question has to be, Celtic, as we've heard from a good brother who we have to take it face value, I wasn't prepared to go along with what was spouted by the people who he quoted, Mr. Laurel and others, 
We were out to offer the Green Brigade an off-rope to hang themselves. I don't like that kind of talk at all. No, 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 no. It's not nice talk. Please, please, please. Don't go that way. It's not nice. Don't hang yourself. No, no. The point uh, regarding how we hit the, the PLC, how we hit them, I believe is up to serious debate. When you're in there, what they do, I noticed uh, many times being to Barcelona, what they do is they bring their sandwiches in tin foil. Yes, they bring their sandwiches in tin foil because obviously over there they've got the hot weather. Lovely way to keep the old sandwiches cool and chilled, a wee bit of tin foil. It protects not only moonbeams but keeps your sandwiches cool and keeps crackpot McDougal taxi drivers away from the harmful moonbeams. So, tin foil it. This is crackpot theory number one. Prepare yourself if you're going into Celtic PLC. Prepare yourself not to be ripped off with the minging chips, the bump pizza and soggy everything else, yes. You're not allowed to take in a flask, no. Sorry, you can't take in a flask. Suppose you could smuggle it in, but I'm not suggesting that for one minute to smuggle it in. That'd be breaking contravention there, 6436719 in the fascist Freemasonic state. And we can't be having that. They can't be endorsing breaking any fascist Freemasonic laws. No, no, no. So where do we turn here? Where do we go? So we're hitting the, the PLC, Celtic PLC, the temporary custodians of our beloved club. So bring your sandwiches with tinfoil wrapped around them. Secondly, are we going to get a boycott outside the shop? I say a boycott is only eight hours. Sure, there's enough self-unemployable people. Some crackpots have got nothing better to do than phone and radio shows. The old brother from Lennox Town. Get somebody manning outside, picket line. One person at a time. Stands there, hands out a leaflet. Support your Green Brigade. Direct them to the merch man. The merch man's sitting there. With a big fricked off van giving it yaldy. Ten to a dozen. Why don't we do it on Occupy Kerry Dale Street? Well, it's Occupy Kerry Dale Street. The summer weather is coming. Instead of an Arab Spring, let's have a, a Celtic Spring. Let's have a Celtic Spring in Kerry Dale Street. And you know, by the way, anybody at Celtic listening to this, if you get anything in from Tommy Gold, my old company, my old co Tommy Gold, Tommy Glasgow, you're yes, that is me. Yes, I have got an address at 67 Kerry Dale Street. That is me. I'm 67 Kerry Dale Street. So that's my tinfoil covered Skoda. I've got my own place there. I've got brothers' names on that wall round there. We own that place, Celtic fans. It's ours. Your temporary custodians. So yes. And that's for a wee company that I do my stuff over in Yankee Doodle Land. So if you get anything from uh, from over there, from Tommy Gold Community Radio, whatever, Celtic Glasgow Radio Line, that's my good self, yes, you better add them and eat it. 67 Kerry Dale Street. We, we should get a tented village going in Kerry Dale Street. The Green Brigade. If it gets too cold, as long as I get my battery souped up here, if it gets too cold, then don't worry, I can run, keep your spirits up every night. Set in my taxi, defrost it, get a wee defrost out in the taxi, and we're good to go. So I think we should be handing out leaflets. Now, in all seriousness, what about handing out leaflets uh, outside people get into the shop? What about a boycott of all products and merchandise? It takes, this is what has to be done. We've got to then start telling everybody through social media that it's bombarded the social media of Celtic by saying, you know, simple hashtag no more cash for PLC. 
boycott PLC, boycott PLC, sack the board. There you go, we've sacked the board. Do we sack this board? It's up in question, everything's up in the air. Is this board fit for purpose? Is this board doing the right things? In my opinion, and many other good people's opinion, no. And the, the thing that's breaking the camel or the straws back, or whatever cliche you like to throw it, is the fact that if the collusion is between the highest levels of Celtic and the polis, then walk. Walk, 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 walk. As someone else better put it ever in, your soup time is up. Soup time is over. Walk away. We don't do walking away. We do walk, we'll never walk alone. And you'll always be Celtic fans and you'll always be welcome back. If that's your beef, if you're Celtic fans. But it's time to reverse the trend of not having Celtic fans involved in the key roles of Celtic. I suggested they were on well, they should we go and start our own club? Of course, I was just putting it out there. Some people might think, well, hey, but no. It's our club, and those other people will do the walking, and rightly so. We don't do walking away. We do walking up in our club tail, up to the Gallagate. If you look to what happened within an hour or so of that, there was a club tail of thousands walking the same road, thousands walking from the Swallowgate, from the Tun, thousands parking their cars halfway up the Galloway, Gallagate, three quarters up, a quarter way up, parting their cars in side streets all the way along, walking the rest up there. People walking that distance, buses travelling up there in their curtail, and they pick in 200 Celtic fans, young and old alike, pick on them, kettle them, shepherd them in, and let them go two by two like animals. Well, it's not on. And uh, so, do we get tents out? No, a bit extreme, you know, I'm just having a giraffe. So, we hit them in the pocket, boycott them, social media, let everybody know this is what's going down. So, a mass boycott through the media, everybody knows. So, as they get to know, then, well, as I say, I'm willing to speak to any nice police officer to put our case through as Celtic fans. I'm not a spokesman for any Celtic person, but I'm phoning as a Celtic fan. I'm nothing special, I'm just a fan, I know that. I'm just a crackpot and I so I laugh. So, I, I, just because I like phoning people, that's why I put myself up to phone. If nobody else is wanting to phone, then everybody says phone this person, phone that person. Well, nobody suggests me to phone a police officer. But I'm suggesting myself to do it because if nobody else is wanting to do it, then I'll do it. And if there's things that have to be said or weren't said, then if people want me to say it, I'll go on there and say it. I'll say it on behalf of me and that other person, okay, or whatever. But I'll say whatever. And for me, although I wasn't there, I'm just going on and seeing what's happened and the reaction now from Celtic fans. So if there's no one with Celtic PLC, Want to speak to the level of police officers to desist from the criminalisation from Celtic fans who have been given awards across Europe. Surely to goodness, surely to goodness, we're not all criminals. I myself have nothing to lose because I don't go to the games in Scotland. I've been disillusioned this season. Uh, yes, Peter Lawwell, I came into the office at the start of the season. I came in after I've been disillusioned by the stupid charge of the £80. It was me that came in, it was me that phoned your lovely last year. Was it Anne-Marie or whatever her name was? I asked to speak to you, Mr. Lawwell. It was me that came in looking to speak to you. And I've not been back for that reason and other reasons. You've sold us down the river, Mr. Lawwell. You've sold us down the river. At one point I wanted to talk to you. At one point Imram Ahmed offered me your number to get me off his case from phoning him. I turned it down. Still phoning the dumb schmuck, but he doesn't answer. What I did there on. I didn't go to answer, did it? I went straight to 
there's persons phones not over here. I wasn't going to be held to ransom to a, might be a brother, but he's a zombie either. I wasn't going to be held to ransom, not to phone him if he gives us Mr. Pedro's number. So, yes, Mr. Lowell, do the decent thing. F answer your phone. I'll phone you tomorrow at Celtic Park. I want to speak to you, Mr. Lowell, if you want to speak to me. Oh, God, what's we going to achieve? What's we going to achieve? I'll phone the police. Eh? What's we going to do? I'll ask thee. Fergus McCann, I don't think he wants to be involved anymore. He's done He's done what he did. He did what he said on the tin. And he bolted. Yeah, we're not going to get much out of Fergus now, sadly. And uh Yeah, it's sad days, Celtic fans being criminalised in this way. Sad, 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 sad. So, we stop paying. Take your sandwiches along. Or stack up on food before you go. And just buy hot drinks if you're hurting it, or a drink. I mean, the wains have got to be fed, I know that. If the wains have got to be fed, then surely, goodness, sneak in a wee Capri Sun. I'm sure you can take in a Capri Sun. Sneak in a couple of Capri Suns for the wains. Take in a few Wrigley Spearmint Shearmint Gums. Take your macaroon shoes. Take your macaroon bars and Spearmint Gums in. So in your left pocket you get a macaroon bar, in your right pocket you get your spearmints to freshen the old mouth up. In the inside pocket, a wee bottle of swally of the old, what do we call it? The, the variety I just mentioned there, uh, your Tropicana, whatever. And one for yourself, and the other one the same for your men, there you go. A couple of wee bottles of juice, no bottles, the wee bars, the wee pouchy vans. That's you, cooking with gas. You get your spearmint shoes, you get your macaroon bars, and you get your drinks all on tap. There you go. And you get your tin foil wrapped uh, cheese and tomato and onion bagels. You've got your hot paninis, you can make your hot panini. Wrap your hot panini up, it'll stay warm. There you go, that's it. No more merchandise, buy the merchandise from the Green Brigade. If anybody's got a thing, I'll try and retweet it. Anybody got the, the details for the merchandise, get buying stuff for the Green Brigade. Help fund your local Green Brigade. Fund the Green Brigade, give them your money, why not? Buy some stuff, you want to buy something with Celtic? Get in there for the merchandise for the Green Brigade and block out all Celtic merchandise. For a time being, it's not forever. It's not forever. We just hit them in a house. If the, the five people left who are buying the Celtic view, can anybody get a hold of those five people to talk to them? Anybody got their, their email addresses, phone numbers, or snail mail, because they only snail mail them. They don't have the phone, they're nobody's up to date today having the phone or even the internet. So those five, five backward regressive types, those kilt-wearing Celtic fans, all five of them who subscribe to the Celtic view, please desist. That's six, how much of the car is it? Two pound, two pound, that's not a bit. That's ten pounds to be put in the pockets of somebody else. Don't buy the Celtic view, Celtic Tims. Kilted Tims, I should say. See, the choices are out there, what we can do. 
So in all seriousness, since nobody's phoning up to entertain, a half fallen asleep, tripped out my dial, wired to the moon, crackpot McDougal, tinfoiled Skoda driving the crackpot. Nobody wants to take me up on my phone call. And again, you'll be subject to listen to a crackpot fallen asleep on duty. I'm part time self unemployable. Yes, I couldn't get a job if you gave it to me. I don't work. I'm a licensed extortionist. Pirates are us. Pirates are us. Damn it. Seven minutes past one. I'm half fair asleep here. I've no opened my eyes in the last 15 minutes here. I'm just lying back, chilled out to the max here. Martin Colin Orson, Colin Orson. Yes, this is Timmy the Tommy. Tommy the Timmy. The obsessed Timmy of the Sevkovians. Yes, I'm very obsessed by them. I was paranoid, but now I've graduated. I'm moving up the food chain. I'm obsessed. Where will it be next week for the brain dead zombies? Where will Tommy the Timmy be? I'm fully certifiable. I'm just at 11 day old. Mark Colin Orson, come in Orson, Mark Colin Orson. Hey, you're Selig, super Selig. Hey, you're Celtic. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. Francesco, I know you're there, Francesco. This is a late night phone out challenge. Normally I would phone Australia, we could phone Singapore. Well, it's two hours in the morning, isn't it? Or we're just getting up. Everybody in the USA, French kisser in the USA. Can't even be bothered looking up my phone to phone anybody. I'm just sitting here chilling out. Let me put this up. Hold on, let me see where we going here, where we going. Let's get the computer up here. Ah, oh, there we go, there we go. Wow, that's lovely. Oh, it's Wonder Bar, Wonder Bar, we're here, we're there, we're everywhere. See, I see you. Oh. It's Panda Men of out there. Polar bears are dropping dead, it's minus 15 in Scotland, that's a weather forecast. The roads are clear and empty. If you want to go anywhere, get out there, get in there about it. Shake it all about, get in and out. The roads are pandered, you can get anywhere you want, get and do your midnight shopping. The eyes go to Tes Tesco, the butcher, the baker and the candlestick maker, they're all opened 24 hours 7 living in Scotland. Why would you need French kissing in San Francisco land? You don't need that. You don't need Bel Air, you don't need Las Vegas. We've got everything going down here. We've got casinos, 24 hours 7 casinos. We've got the Corinthian, we've got the Stockwell Casino, the lines are sucking a Bell Street, we've got a line, a Leah, a Leah Lane if you want, but I've been leaving it alone for a long time, you gambling. Yes, I'm a multi billionaire. Every time I don't gamble, I'm a winner. I keep my billions to myself. So, we are Celtic, super Celtic. I'm a crackpot, mad as you like. Man, there's a box at Rusty Old Nails. Let's see, what's that song they sing? We are Rangers, Super Rangers, no one likes us, we don't care. See, this is one of the problems faced by the followers of the Tribute Act called Rangers. But this is one of the problems that they realise now, is that for so long, they didn't realise the extent of what people hate them by. They didn't, they didn't realise that, how much the people are just saying, oh, look, you're just cheating scumbags, I mean, he's peace. So they, they, uh, they feel it. And now they, they see it all happening, they're like, oh, but hold on, we're really sad about this. It's really hurting us now because nobody likes us. See, now, now we're finding that they do care when nobody likes them. They want to be loved. 
the little precious souls. They need some love. Oh, poor Rangers fans. And they can't understand. Oh, we don't need reconstruction. We need reconstruction. One thing we have to be careful of, I think, is Celtic fans. and sorted out and you know not swept under the carpet as per usual from the board the temporary custodians we have to be careful that it's not swept under the carpet because of what's going on but the stuff with uh, I don't know what's in through here stand back from the mic big fella you're sounding a bit garbled My back, I'm standing by. Is that any better? My back, I'll wheel out a thing with it. Is that better? Are we cooking the gas? Is that garbled, garbled nonsense? I'm relaxed now. We're far enough away. Any better? I've just seen a message there on this the message board. Is that better? Is it less garbled? I'm far asleep here. What are you buying a bunch of cat pots? Well, that's that. I said I would phone the USA. If, you know, if I phone the USA, I've not got a good signal on my phone here, so I'd need to shut the show down and phone the USA and send you the link, I suppose. Let's see that. Oh, hi. Is that better, brother? Oh, sorry. Sorry, brother. I was too close to it. I, it's nice and sensitive, that mic, I forgot. Right. Oh, I feel better about it anyway now. I've been sitting forward there now, I'm even more reclined now. That, now there's a severe danger that I will fall asleep. Now there is a severe danger because I've just melted right into this seat here. I've melted back. Totally relaxed now, totally relaxed. Yes, yeah, so I'd be known to fall asleep in the edge of a razor, so if I fall asleep, be will stop talking. Then, you know, I must go down there, look at this. What's up now? Sorry, 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 yoni, yoni, yoni. Right, so we hit them in the pocket. How else do we go about doing it? So we're not, we don't do a blockade, we don't do a boycott, we don't do walking away and starting our own new club. We take control of our club. I think we have to... I think we have to strike a dialogue with the people and PLC Celtic, I think we'll have to strike a dialogue with the Polis. What are we talking about? What the dialogue is? Well, we keep it simple, stupid. Give it a kiss. K-I-S-S. Keep it simple, stupid. And we say, look, enough's enough. Stop targeting Celtic fans. There's no need. No evidence of any criminality. If he's breaking seats, or if somebody breaks a seat, then bow them. You're quick and evil, able to bow our opposing f teams, clubs for their fans' behaviour. But if you've got somebody's seat that's broke, go bow them for it. Right, no day any more pyros, no day anything else apart from singing lovely little tunes. How's that? We accept that and we fuck off and leave the boys alone. Singing a few tunes, we'll not let off any rockets because these are just too many rocketed heat to, you know what I mean, to let the boys have a bit of fun, so okay, no more rockets, if that's the way it is, no more rockets, no more pyros. A bit draconian with you, but hey, uh, is that a price that has to be paid? Is that a price that is acceptable? Well, I can't accept anything on behalf of anybody because I'm a nobody. So, no offers for me for what can be done, because I don't go to the games, 
I'm a disenfranchised fan just now already. So it's up to the enfranchised fans, the fans who are putting their money to stand up and stand in solidarity with other people who are withholding their money for a better day, for a better dawn when there's better people in control of our beloved club. So I'm standing on the sidelines waiting for whatever to float up the river. If a big tud floats up the river and it's got Celtic PLC on it, it's because it's been sold down the river by the temporary custodians. Just like the temporary custodians of the old coast Celtic before we became Pacific Shelf, not liquidised, not liquidated, paid all our bills and just called it a different name and called it a different Celtic PLC. So yes, I mean, the brain dead zombies amongst us, the point out of that point. And that was a point, you know, the PLC mentality, this PLC don't sing these songs of Irishness and rebellion and... So this was a cleansing of the soul of Celtic, a cleansing that was a step too far that should have been challenged at that point, at the point of Fergus McCann allowing Celtic non-minded Celtic people in, should that have been challenged? I would have thought, you know, that there's good enough Celtic people who can be dispassionate and they could have done their job in a, in a brilliant way, in the same way someone who's a non-Celtic fan, I would say even in a better way, because if we go the full nine yards and more, if there was something about that had to be done, I'm sure someone who is a Celtic fan would go out their way to do something for gratis just to help the club just because there's a love and an attachment there that it's not all about money and they, they work that extra day or half for I would have thought anyway but just you know my type of Celtic minded thinking you know sorry for having that Celtic minded thinking but if I was a Celtic minded person working for Celtic for I don't know Celtic media for Celtic view, uh, for Celtic administration, Celtic whatever, I would be looking, you know, if, if they asked me to do something, yeah, no problem. I wouldn't have to turn around and say, oh, how much am I going to get paid? No, okay, well, it depends, I suppose. I mean, everybody else, you need to get paid. But I think there's too many people at Celtic Park, Celtic PLC, who are taking the unseen Fenian hands, shekels, and they're not doing enough for it. So I think it's time that we identify, another thing that we do is let's identify these people who are freeloaders, let's put the spotlight on them. I've got the numbers for many people in Celtic Park also, so let's get the spotlight on them, and let's identify them, and let's uh, say, hold on a minute. Anybody get Dermot Desmond's number? Dermot! Your Celtic fans one and all. I'm not taking your fifty pound. It might be as toxic as a, a, a David Minty Murray's EBT one of your fifty pounds, we don't know. What bank is it from? Is it a Masterton bank? Or just a bankster bank? Who knows? Right, these questions and many more will never be answered, maybe not, and but we'll try on this show or the next show, whatever that may be, maybe even later on. Then we'll get some other people to contact and uh, chat, chew the cud with later on today, tomorrow. And uh, Time was it? 59, so the Hibs game. Right, I'm going to take my boy here. I'm going to lie, my boy's asked to go. He's been asking to go and going to the Green Bay game, so I'm getting two tickets. We're coming in. We're coming in, Celtic. We're coming in. I'm breaking my ban. My boycott has been unbroken. I'm coming to the game on the 6th. I'm reading a crackpot curtail 
of taxi drivers. So if you don't want to walk from the Swallowgate, put your name down and out. The first four who come forward who want a lift in a taxi will leave about one, half one. We'll leave in a taxi, put your first four names down. You can come into my taxi. Or maybe you know, maybe there might, there might be a couple of seats took in my taxi, so maybe there might be only two. Failing that, I'll save one, we'll save one, we'll raffle one, if need be, we'll raffle one. Because three places might have already been taken already, four places, me included. So we might have just one spare place to raffle. But I have no fear, we've got our good brothers. I've got another good brother there, another Fenian brother thrown through. He's in taxi too. And then the rest, brothers from another mother's, from another continent. Uh, solidarity with our, our brothers, who are taxi drivers, they will provide a procession. 2.30 ahead, fill the taxi, four people will drive the couple of miles up the road and we'll do a wee tour of the fort, the Forge retail party, yeah, we'll go around the Forge. We'll clog the roundabout up at the Forge, there you go. What can you do about that? You do a demonstration on the motors, you can't do anything when people do that. Taxi drivers have done it in London all the time. Let's all do it in Glasgow. Taxi Drivers United, we'll organise it. I've got a few people here. Anybody know any other Fenian taxi drivers? Then well, let's do it. If you can't walk up the Galley Gate with 10, 20, 30 people as part of a Green Brigade, then 200, how many taxis is that? 50 taxis? Four, we'll get 50 taxis, 200 people in those taxis. Let's go. Let's get it going. I'll get 50 taxis. You just fill them up, we'll fill in, we'll get a, a chart sheet up going down, 50 people, cash up front, so we'll get your 250 up front per head, you have part of this, sort out the taxi drivers, we'll get it going down, 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock, on the day of the game, my wee boy, me and my boy on the front, oh, a couple of brothers, and then another one raffled off, we'll raffle off one of the seats. My boy will be sitting in the front holding the radio equipment, so we'll bring it live and direct. Taxi 2, a fellow Fenian brother will be driving that. Taxis 3 and 4, my brothers from our mothers from another continent will get them in there. They'll have their incontinent knickers on there, so no panty wetters. No panty wetters allowed in my brothers' cars, no, no, no. They might have mats, but you can't take them over tea, so no pushing the seats. No pushing the seats, no liberty takers. Right, so fill it up, roll it up, roll it up, get it gone. 50 taxis all the way up the gallery gate. And uh, if you want to return journey, it's 20 quid. Over time, after f uh, 4 o'clock, 4 o'clock Thursday p.m., it's over time, double bubble. So you went back, you just have to reboot your lift with the driver, tip him a score, give him a score, tip. So, tenner for the first fare. Pay them cash up front, £20 next fare, they'll be sitting there waiting, leave the last two and a half seconds and run that fuck, and uh, he'll pick you up out on the London Road or the Swallowgate, drop you off your destination, as I say, all inclusive deal, £30 all in, £10 we'll drive it two mile an hour up the Gallagate, do a, a roundabout, when we finish the £20, then we're flying at 30 mile an hour down the Swallowgate, and into your hostility, take your water and fed for the rest of the night. You can't say fair than that, 30 quid all in, sort out your taxi drivers, we'll get 50 of them, I'll line 50 of them up if you can line up 200. Right, so we're getting a cartier of taxi drivers, we're boycotting the PLC, we're getting a tented village outside Kennedale Street. Can we, can we build a house here? Can we get a wee button bin? Can we get a cabin? Has anybody got a Lenny a Winnebago? Somebody give me a Winnebago, I'll sleep outside there. If the shite house can sell off the Albion car park, we'll get rights to the Kerrydale car park. That's a community meeting ground, we've got a community meeting ground in front of that Emirates Stadium. So the community meeting ground, maybe we should go in and see a noise and say, listen, 
get any money. Any money to feed and clothe some of the poor East End chaps and chapesses and boyesses who are starving and freezing up in here because your team across the road there is doing the anti for them. Unless you're pushed into doing something Celtic PLC, you don't do nanti for the the community. Nanti, nothing, nothing is given back to the fan base. It's all empty rhetoric, it's all false promises, it's all bullshittery. It's all what about it? Well what about it Celtic? What are you doing about it? You've took your club from the fan base, the true fans who went along in the jungle in the days of the seventies and eighties. Stole our club from under us. It's the old adage of the the frog and the water and they turn the heat up and up slowly, slowly to a point when the frog is seduced and he's fallen asleep with a crack pot with me and then we're falling out, it's too late, gone. The club is no longer the club you fell in love with when you were a boy. It's a sanitised PLC version. You can't sit there jumping about. Well, you can't sit there jumping about. You can't stand there jumping about like a loony tune and shouting and screaming. Oh no no, we don't do football like that in the 21st century, no no no. Not in Alex Salmon, Scotia. No no, unless it's shot bread and crumpets with a fascist shit. No, no, you ain't invited to this party. No 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 no. You ain't invited if you want to sing Irish traditional tunes. No 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 no. Any reminiscing of old, the old land and of old times going by? No, 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 no. That can't, it's not a done thing. We don't do that in Scotland. No political stuff. Nothing political in football. Except we want to get a big bloody cannon on the field and troops jumping about like Looney Tunes. Very dignified, eh? Dignified. But as dignified as a govern shite hitting the clergy. Right, I've still opened my eyes in 25 minutes. I'm out here, you're a bunch of rockets. I'm tired. We'll get phone calls today, tomorrow. People, phone calls tomorrow. What's that? But the fans big man, what's that? What's that? You know that fancy giving us a hand, giving away green cards to the fans? Me? I'll do it, I'll give out cards. I am blue bottle jammy goes to me, I'm not I'm not I'm blue bottle jammy. I don't use meters, what we do, we sit outside and we say twenty bangers, cash up front, we'll cash up front, we'll take you wherever you want to go. We're going to eat your jam the meters now, we just, we pound the bottle out and say, hold on a minute. It's cash up front, 20 quid, we'll take you to the Savoy, we'll take you for the Sav, and down to the Radis Hotel, 15 bangers, cash up front. Yeah, we need to get public events going, we need to collectivise, that's the main thing, collectivise. When I saw the amount of people who uh, listened to the show last night, Celtic Dreams, that's what it's all about, we need to collectivise each and every night. Somebody do a show tomorrow night, other people do shows, keep doing shows, keep bringing the message out there, we're the Celtic fans, we're, taking, we're not taking this lying down, we ain't, we ain't criminals, we need to be treated as proper human beings. None of this pash anymore of, you know, herding us like cattle, like treating us like little children. We have won awards, don't you know, Scottish Polis. Celtic PLC, shame on you, shame on you Celtic PLC. Shame on you for not standing up for the young troops. Shame on you for treating us as criminals. Shame on you, Celtic PLC temporary custodians, for sending the police to the top of the stand of the Camp Nou to take pictures of the Green Brigade. Shame on you, Celtic PLC. Take your £700,000 a year salary. Take your 30 shekels of silver 
in the minestrone pea and ham full of chicken yellow belly soup. Go on, take it. Take your croutons. Take your yellow belly soup and shove it where the sun don't shine. Away and fling shite in the moon. The gatekeepers, the custodians of our club. If you think that Celtic fans will take this lying down. Unite, stand up and unite Celtic fans. The message has to be stand up and unite and say to the temporary custodians of the PLC, well, we're your friends. We're part of the same club. I bear no ill will against anybody, even the Sevkovians. Right, from one Pacific shelf, from the veranda on the Pacific shelf, from being obsessed on the old Sevco. When I used to be Rangers, I was paranoid, now it's Sevco, I'm obsessed. But from the veranda in Compton, LA, as I sit and look at the wreckage of the shite house in Durham, I look and say, ha ha ha, the rest of Scotland. Scottish football is prospering. It's only in your brain dead, deluded fans and in the media who think that Scottish football needs a Rangers. We don't need a Rangers who has bankrupt themselves and not paid their bills to the tune of 50 million. We don't need a club called Rangers who pays players with dodgy methods to bypass the system of governments where people like George Pete hang up their phone and can't answer when the proper questions are put to them. Anyway, I'm Haven, I'm out of here. I'm tired. Good night, Vienna. I'm away for the beach news. I might try phone my brothers over in America on that American radio station, but if I don't, then rest assured I'm phoning the MLS tomorrow. The MLS will hear of my brother Francisco Sandazzo. I've got a sales job to do. I'm an agent of all repute from San Francisco Dazzaland. San Francisco Dazzaland. Yes, Disco Land, Dave. Disco Land, Sandazzo Stanley. We're back where I thought we lost it, we have lost it all, we've lost it. We lost the signal completely, so it took some haven away here. We lost the signal, but not to worry, we're back. We're back in it, we lost it, and now we're back. We're back, we're back, we're back. Right, so as I was saying there, I'm havering away, you never missed much. I was holding it down my lockdown, talking shite anyway, so it's not a problem. So glad we're well, we'll back later on today, later on tomorrow, we'll do another show. Mid-afternoon, late afternoon, early afternoon, any time in the afternoon. Well, I don't know what time, but I've got more people to phone and talk to, so... Roger Dodger, over and out, increase the peace, fight the power. In case I don't see you, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good riddance to the brain dead zombie team from the shite house. Like 11 is an age of fascists. Like 11 is an age of fascists.